Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we are having a look at the Gazelle Valde, Valde Plus trailer and this is by Sanya142, Vladislav uh, Kalash and Foxo71 Russ RUS. So look, there's uh, three guys, I think, yeah, three guys, three, could, three people, we'll say, who have actually... Uh, combined together to do this now if you have a look at this gazelle it does look very nice I mean the modeling for this is very well done uh, these little static straps at the back there two of them uh, they're pretty you know it's pretty good now this is an interesting mod and we'll jump in and take a look at the uh, customer custom configuration customized configuration one of the you know what I mean um, so let's have a look in the actual cabin there's one cabin that you can actually get with the chassis you can get two so there's that one there where you can actually just tow some trailers around as normal uh, that's but the, oh look at that there's a steering wheel stuck underneath there that's pretty funny I hope that's not in there in the actual game uh, when we're playing along driving along there but uh, let's go and put this one on, which will allow us to put a little, you know, cab thing on the back there, a little cargo area. So with the engines, there is a heap of engines. You've got 360, 380, you know, 440, 480, 560, 580, 730, and 730 again. So, look, I'm going to go, I'm a big fan of a V8, so let's go uh, the Euro 6 V8. Now, for the gearbox, you only get choice of two, which is this one here. I think it's five-speed with Retarder. And then we go into the interior. Now, to have a look at the interior, I think it does look very nice. A little picture of a gazelle there on the side. Steering wheel is a little bit jaggedy, but nothing that would really bother you. Uh, there's a little lump there that's pretty damn good. I mean, it's nothing that's going to bother you while driving. I mean, very nicely done, the modeling here is very smooth. Um, you know, nothing I can really be picky or complain about, to be honest. Uh, that's, I mean, it's very nice. It looks pretty damn real. As real as it's going to get anyway. Now, let's go on to the actual colors. You can actually get a few different colors in here. So we've got Deep Ocean, Perfect White, Scorpio Red. Let's spin that round so we can see it better. Um, acacia green, autumn orange, a crimson red, and poached ivory. I think I'm just going to leave it on the green. Um, we'll leave it on the acacia green because we're going to go and check out the service center and see what it has there. So, oh, and by the way, this is down at the Scania dealer uh, as well. I did forget to mention that at the start. Now, here we've actually got the Scania logo. I'm going to rip that off. I didn't particularly like that. If we go back to here, you get to have it in the grill there or on there, but I'm going to rip it off completely. I didn't really like it there. Then you can actually go a whole heap of options here for spotlights, lights, whatever else, horns, whatever you want to put on there. I mean, go nuts, and there's heaps to choose from. Uh, but what I'm going to do is, if I can get it to select it, uh, no, wrong one. That's selecting the wrong one. So there is actually little bumpers that you can get on there. So uh, just want to show you. See these little bumpers? They're not bolted on. That's a bit of a downer for me. It needs to be put on properly or not at all really because that does look silly when they're not sitting on there properly. Now if we go to here, take that off there, you can see it is on there it's attached and on there properly and that's how it should be now it looks like he's smiling doesn't it these are eyes the nose and he's smiling a big smile so I went through and that's got open mouth oh, just like that and then he's smiling eee! so I went through a whole lot of these and I saw that there was a few of these larger bumpers that are meant for the trucks that they 
don't really see them attached properly because down here they're meant to be attached to the chassis, but he's got them attached there. Um, no big deal. I mean, if if that's you're fine with it, then that's cool. I mean, it's up to you. That one looks like it's in the road. That's going to be silly. Uh, that there just looks silly as well. That doesn't look too bad. I don't think this looks too bad with that on there. Um, if we take that off and we have a look, it is attached there. It's got some little things that attach it and doesn't look too bad. So, you know, that's pretty good. Might actually leave that one on there. Um, or should I? I don't know. It's a cross between the other one, but that looks absolutely ridiculous. Um, that just looks rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. Uh, that's just stupid. Stupid. That there, and that's okay. I like that one there. Um, I really do think that that one gives it like personality. Bit of a smile there. Where that one there, it looks like it's got glasses. So let's put that one on there, shall we? And we'll chuck on some some lights. So we'll put those ones on because they seem to match. And then we'll go up to the mirrors. Now the mirrors, you can actually get the ones that work with it, or you can get just truck ones that sit on the side. Although again, they don't look like they're sitting on there properly. There's a big gap there, so that looks silly. And there's the chrome ones; they don't look like they're sitting on there properly. They look like ridiculous ears, and that looks a lot better. See, it matches. Then we go over to the actual wheels. Now, uh, having it does work with all of these wheels here. I even tried the Raven ones, but this one here looks more like it's meant to be on there. Uh, not my favorite, but looks like it's meant to be there anyway. That's the mirrors. Um, the side skirts, they're not actually side skirts, they are actually the trays on the back. That looks good. Um, I don't know why you'd want to be driving around like that, all your stuff will fall out the back. There is that one there, which is the little, you know, uh, cargo area. And for some reason, he did the cargo area with the doors open. So I don't know why that is. But anyway, it costs an extra 1,000 pounds, or euro, I should say, to have the doors open. Interesting. <laughs> now, for the back wheels here, you can select uh, anything that you want on the back there. Um, but I'm just going to stick on oh, that one there, so it sort of matches the front. Doesn't look that great, but anyway, it matches. Now I think that is pretty much it for the. Ex oh, sorry. Here we go up the top. Now, in reality, that would be really good because it deflects the wind away from that that truck because that truck would just consume so much more fuel without that on there. So just like that, it consumes so much more fuel. But it doesn't seem to change color with the vehicle, which tends to look a little bit silly. Um, and that one there does nothing. So that is weird. Uh, I, I think I'm going to leave it off for this exercise just because... Oh yeah, it did something there. Look, a little something there. Oh, I didn't see that. There we go. We'll just leave that off anyway. Um, but in reality, that would be a big no-no. I would not have that at all. I'd have to have that there, but make it so it was the same color. Then we go over to the inside interior accessories. And we've got these things. I don't know what they are. Um, can't for the life of me figure out what they are. So we'll just chuck that one on. Uh, then there's the bull bar. Then there's another one of those things on the side. We'll just chuck that on there. Uh, up the top here, we have visors. But... I'm going to take the visor off because you can't see it on the outside, so it's a waste of time. Now, we have fluffy dice. How nice. Fluffy dice. Uh, you can select any color you want, um, where I don't actually know what the difference is between that and that one there and that one there. Oh, slight different color change. There we go. Well, let's put those ones on. Uh, what else we got? There's the visor. Ah, uh, that's it. Oh, a smelly tree for the truck. Well, you know, I like watermelon in in there. I think that smells nice in the car. Uh, really, I actually like the uh, ocean smell. 
that's the the smell that I really like most of all. But uh, you know, we'll just stick watermelon in the in there. Now here we've got these little deflectors, wind deflectors here. They do not sit on properly, so why have them? N none of them do. They they just look silly and they're a waste of time. Now there is a mirror here that you can choose, but they don't actually work. And that there is just a normal mirror, so let's just leave that one on there. Can't take it off. Um, and that is it. That is it for the interior. So, look, let's confirm this. And there it is. That is what we are going to buy. We will trade in, just as we always do, to get rid of that last mod. And thank you very much. And we will go out and have a look. Okay, so here is the outside. Now, what we're looking for here is any big gaping holes, gaps, any disgusting looking things. Uh, that aren't meant to be there. Now, I've, they're actually meant to be there, those holes that I just saw before. Um, we're going through the cab. The driver's in there. That's very nice. The, you know, the outside actually, so there's a hole there, but that's meant to be there in the center. See, the outside does look very nice. Uh, I really do like the chains on the mud flaps as well, you know, so that they don't... Um, you know, so they don't rub. But here in Australia, whenever you see that, you see the chains broken and dangling there because the truck driver reverses into a gutter and then snaps the the mud flap off. So <laughs> it's generally what happens here. Uh, what have we got? Uh, so that's the interior. Looks very nice. Let's go on the outside. And yeah, that looks pretty good. I like that actually. Looks very nice. Uh, let's start her up. See if we got any custom sounds. Oh yeah, some nice little diesel sounds. That's pretty cool. Ha. Huh. No, actually that's... That is the truck sounds. So I think that is the Scania's truck sounds there. So they didn't change any sounds. Um, I was just having a look at the shadows underneath there, the wheel shadows. They are out of place in this one. So that's on the front only. So not on the back, just the front. So I don't think that's a major thing, but it's just something that I'm picky at. Jump inside. Uh, let's chuck it into gear. So uh, look around and we'll go over to the service center. And look at the taco. The actual gauges are out. Oh, that's a bummer. Look, you can see it now in the sunlight when we uh, turn there. The gauges are out, so you're not going to be able to see how fast you're going unless you look at the side here what a bummer what a bummer and I need to have a look to see if there's that underneath there as well so upgrades don't think there's going to be too much more here in the upgrades I think we've pretty much got everything we want anyway uh, there's that steering there shouldn't be any more paint jobs uh, no no nothing at all not even a driver and co-driver plate and or is that it there yes there we go there is a secondary plate and a co-driver plate so that's all good that's that's great so now let's go over to the paints this is the part i like paint shop now what do we get ah we get to choose a custom color ah very nice see ah a metallic let's choose a let's choose a green for this one you know, we'll uh, put on some nice greeny colors and make that a little bit darker there. And, yep, and then we'll click on that one and go there and make that really dark. So, look, there we go. Oh, look at that. That is bright green, isn't it? But there we go. That actually looks really nice. Nice little green. Um might actually change that one it's a bit too a bit too funky for me uh, a bit too bright there we go how about that you can really see the metallics working there yeah that looks pretty cool all right well confirm it almost looks like a frog doesn't it and out we go. Now, I want to jump out and have a look. Is that steering wheel under there? No, it's not. Awesome. That's what I like. Thank you very much. 
Now. Yeah, that's definitely the scanner engines. There we go. This is a frog. Look at that. That just looks like a, a frog truck to me. Ha <laughs> ha. Pretty cool. All right. Well, there we go, guys. Look, that is pretty much it. That's the Gazelle Valdi Plus trailer. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Have a look. Can we get a trailer for this yet? Maybe we just have to refresh the, the actual... Uh, we have to refresh it. Now, I reckon if we chuck a trailer on the back, it's going to be halfway through the actual truck, so... But anyway, that's that's something. Um, it's meant to be plus trailer, so maybe if we did a couple of sleeps... I might do that, actually. Just have a couple of sleeps, and then I will... See if the trailer's there. Well... Look, YouTubers, I've actually been looking through here and I cannot actually see any trailer for this. So if you were to chuck a trailer on there, it'd basically take out half that back section. So it would look a bit silly. So I think that's pretty much it. I don't know where the trailer's gone for this. Maybe they forgot to put it in there or something. But look... Here we are, this is the actual Gazelle of Valdi, and I don't know about Plus Trailer, it says Plus Trailer, but I couldn't quite see it. And um, look guys, if you want to grab a copy of this to have a go, it, the link is down below. Um, look, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, and keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down, and I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on! Thanks for watching YouTubers, if you'd like to see more videos, then click on the links beside. Just over here we have where we do a mod test in spin tires for the GMC C4500 6x6. And below that we have a look at the Freightliner Century for Euro Truck Simulator 2. And if you'd like to visit our website or you'd like to subscribe, then click on the links below. If you like this video, then don't forget to share it. Thanks for watching YouTubers and remember... Game on!